Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time and again it does not matter what sport you're betting on we have you covered. So before we get into some NBA action for November the 7th I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So let's go down and look at some of the games for Sunday November the 7th in the NBA. Brooklyn and the Raptors. This is going to be a great matchup in the Atlantic Division and in the Eastern Conference. The Nets enter 5th in the Eastern Conference and the Raptors are currently 4th. You notice both teams are burning hot. The Raptors have won their last 5 and the Nets have won their last 3 and 4 out of their last 5. The score prediction has Toronto winning by a 112-104 margin with 71% level of confidence. If you look at the power ranking indicator you can see here that Toronto is at plus 24, they have skyrocketed, and Brooklyn is on an upward trend as well, and they are right now at plus 21. The totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under line, you can see here that Brooklyn has been trending in games under the line all season long so far, and Toronto is also trending under. This is a very good indication to go with the under. If you want to see how consistent the teams have been performing according to their favorite and underdog status, you can see here that the Nets have been very consistent at plus three so far in the early going, but look at Toronto, minus three, so they have been very inconsistent. So what, how does that all play out here in the end for this contest? Well, I like, right now, I think I like the Nets to win then on the road. I think the overall they're going to be a better team. I think it's going to be a relatively close game, but I do like the Nets to win, and I will bet the under. Cleveland and the New York Knicks. It's a good game. We're not going to look at every game here. We'll look at some of them because it's a pretty full slate of action. Indiana and Sacramento. The Bucks and the Wizards. The defending champions are off to a slow start. They are 10th in the Eastern Conference. While the Wizards are 6th in the Eastern Conference. Neither team has been playing particularly well lately. You see the Bucks are average status. They won their last game but are just 1-3 over their last 4. While the Wizards have dropped their last 2. Including a 109-100 to decision uh, against... Toronto. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see their current play has reflected this trend. Um, Milwaukee's at plus 9 right now, and Washington is at plus 19 on the power ranking indicator. If you're considering the over and under for this game, Milwaukee now is trending under the line by 4 points, and Washington is right around the line. I would probably avoid the over under if I would. Want to gamble, I would probably go with the under on this one, but I probably would avoid it. Um, as far as the score prediction, look at this right here. Right here, look at the score prediction. 117-117. Obviously, the game can't end in a tie. This shows how close of a matchup this is at the moment. Confidence in prediction of 70%. That obviously has to change. Um, take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to the game. How stable have the two teams been? And we have this to come up. Okay, look. You see here Milwaukee is at plus 2. Washington is at minus 2. So Washington at home. The line has not yet been set. So there's really no way to know which team is going to be the fair. I'm guessing Milwaukee will probably be a slight road fair. But take a look at that as it gets closer to game time. But I do like the Bucks to win in a close game on the road. Utah and Orlando. San Antonio, Oklahoma City. Now, here's another interesting matchup. Even though both teams are doing very poorly at the moment, you can see both teams are dead status. The Spurs are just 1-5 and five over their last six, and the Thunder are also 1-5 and five over their last six, and losers of their last two. The Thunder come in next to last in the Western Conference, and the Spurs are seventh in the conference. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here both teams near the bottom. Not a surprise, given their records. San Antonio at plus 4. Oklahoma City at plus 1. The score prediction has Spurs winning by a 6 point margin, 109 to 103, with 71% level of confidence. If you look at the over and under, you can see here that San Antonio is right around the line, and Oklahoma City is a bit below the line, so I would probably avoid betting, betting the over under. Maybe pick the under in this one if you want to gamble a little bit. Um. How stable have the two teams been? Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. I always like this tool. It's a very, very good tool. Look at this. 
Both teams have been very stable, meaning they have both been very consistently playing according to their favorite underdog status. So I really think the Spurs are the better team. I do like them to win this one, and actually rather comfortably on the road. Houston and Golden State. The Warriors are off to a hot start, sitting second in the Western Conference. Their burning hot status at the moment winners of five of their last six, including a 21-point win over Golden City in their last game. The Rockets are dead status at the moment. They are 1-5 over their last six. So far in the conference, the Warriors are second, and the Rockets are third from the bottom. On the power ranking indicator, you can see the discrepancy between the two teams. Golden State at plus 26. Houston at plus 2. They're really, this really probably won't be much of a contest, but let's take a look at everything here. Houston is is playing in games trending well under the line here, minus 6 points, while Golden State has also been well under the line, minus 6 points. So this is going to be a very, very solid bet to go with the under in this one. Um, how consistent have the two teams? Let's look at the volatility oscillator. Houston extremely stable. Look at this, seven already, plus seven on the early goal. Because they've pretty much been underdogs every single game, they're among the worst teams in the league. I don't really see anything different happening here. I like Golden State to win by double digits, and that's pretty much in line with what the score prediction shows of a 122-104 route for Golden State. And the final game we want to look at here is the Charlotte Hornets and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Hornets are averaged down at the moment. You can see they have lost their last game, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. The Clippers are burning hot after coming off two straight wins, including a 126-115 win over Minnesota on the road in their last game. The power ranking indicator shows Charlotte is at plus 16, and the Clippers are on a little bit of an upward trend. They are now at plus 8. If you look at the score prediction, despite uh, the Clippers being burning hot at the moment, this has Charlotte at 114 to 100 with a 62% level of confidence. A little bit surprising to see that big of a difference, especially Charlotte playing on the road. If you look at the totals prediction, or excuse me, totals predictor, uh, to check the over and under, Charlotte is trending in games slightly over the line. The Clippers are trending in games a bit under the line. In this scenario, I'd like to avoid the over-under bet. Um, let's take a look at how stable the two teams have been. Are they performing according to their favorite underdog status? Well, not as much for Charlotte at plus one, just you know, slightly stable. Um, the Clippers are more stable at plus three. Take a look and see who the favorite is in this game. I don't really know yet because the line has not been picked. The Clippers were a better team last year. So far this year, they are not. I actually kind of like the Charlotte Hornets an upset on the road, but it will not be by the huge margin that the scores prediction is showing here of 114 to 100. But I do like the Hornets to get the win. So there you have it. So those are all the matchups in the NBA for November the 7th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time. <laughs>